In the previous episode, we covered a number of factors uh, that cause miscarriages in our goats, but we did not exhaust all of them. And this episode, we are trying to continue from the other episode so that we can exhaust the factors that cause miscarriages on our farms. This is a very big issue on all our farms, whether big or small, and a number of you do not know what causes this. Let's sit and watch this video. Among the factors that cause miscarriages are poisonous plants. They emit toxins to our goats. And usually these may cause miscarriages, especially if consumed in large quantities. One plant called Omhoko in Rinyankore, or Olwoko in Uganda. I failed to pronounce the word, but I'm putting the word on the screen for the botanical name. Those who want to check it out, please check it out. So if you have this kind of plant, please remove them and burn them before your goats consume them. Remember, every time there is scarcity of feeds on the farm, a goat will feed anything that it sees, especially a green plant. And usually what is so fun about this plant, the ruhoko, that even when their grass is dry, all the other plants are dry, this plant is annoyingly enticing and it, is so, it looks so nice in the dry season. So it never dries up, which means it is a very good enticement for a goat to eat it up. Please uproot it. Another plant that is poisonous, that may cause miscarriages among our goats, is a Sodom apple. In Uganda, we call it Entengo Tengo. Entengo Tengo, especially the leaves, if consumed in large amounts, it may cause miscarriages among our goats. Some of you have them scattered everywhere on the farm. Remember also in our previous video about farm hacks, a ripe fruit of this plant can be used to control flu among our goats. If you would want to have these plants on your farm, please have them secluded very far away from your goats. Another plant we should talk about is a lantana camara. Uh, it's called kayuchiyuch. Sometimes my goats also eat it, but I make sure that I reduce the kayuchiyuch in numbers. One aspect about uh, the kayuchiyuch, if you have noticed on your farms, underneath it, if it grows so big, underneath it, no vegetation grows there. And uh, it is also just like the luoko, that even during the dry season, it keeps blossoming. It has lots and lots of flowers. It has lots and lots of green leaves. Our goats pick on them and in large quantities. If some of you have noticed, every after the dry season, when we are entering into the rainy season, and our goats are all pregnant, majority of them are pregnant, usually we have many miscarriages because they have been eating so many stray plants because they don't have enough vegetation to eat due to the dry season. How is it on your farm? Please let us know what you think. But I'm telling you of my experience as a farmer here in Rakai. Dietary deficiencies cause miscarriages among our goats. Some of you may not know that uh, your farm or the feeds, the food you give to your goats is lacking in certain nutrients. For example, some of you, if you have been so lucky to have babies on your farm, in one way or the other, you may have babies, the joints are so weak, or they cannot move, they cannot walk. Usually that is a sign that your goats are lacking selenium. So which implies that during the time when your goats were pregnant, they did not have enough selenium in their feeds. And it also manifests in this way that uh, when there is no enough selenium, when there is no enough magne uh, magnesium, there is no enough copper in our feeds and others, other nutrients, those goats may have miscarriages on your farm. A farmer watching me may wonder, how do I tell that I'm lacking these nutrients on my farm? I, for one, I go to know because I usually invite a number of uh, technical people on our farms and they always advise us on what to do. For they sample some of your feeds on the farm, they will tell you 
what exactly, which nutrients are missing on your farm and what exactly can you do. But also, if you feel that your goats may be having miscarriages because of uh, deficiencies, one simple advice I always give to farmers, give your goats a buffet of feeds. What do I mean by a buffet of feeds? Feed them on a variety of feeds, for example, leaves, feed them on uh, a number of uh, grasses, feed them on a number of, uh, for example, if you have uh, banana peelings, give them, just give them a buffet of food. This in one way, one, one element, one element of a deficiency that is missing, it may be covered up in that particular plant it is eating. This uh, the last point is about mating goats that are young. This is something that we always discuss about in our farming groups as farmers. And some farmers always disagree, others agree to it. But from my observation, every time you rush to mate a young goat that is not yet eight months, chances are very high that it's going to have a miscarriage because its body has not grown to carry a baby to full term. It's just like in human beings. So I wouldn't advise you in the same vein as a livestock farmer. Ensure that you don't mate a young goat, which is not yet eight months. It will have a miscarriage because it's still young. It has not yet evolved. It is reproductive system. It's still young. It's still a baby. Don't rush. And the best time would be after eight months and above. Some people say, a mother can give birth to baby uh, to two babies or four babies in a year. That is close to impossible. Why do I think it's close to impossible? Uh, every time a mother gives birth after the five months, we usually give it three months to rest, a rest period of three months for it to heal. So every time you rush for that mother to become pregnant again before it heals, usually that goat may have a miscarriage because it has not healed fully. And also remember that every time you rush, the other baby that has been born will not be given the care it should have gotten from its mother because now the mother is focusing on the baby in its stomach. So as farmers, don't rush to always give your females to males. Another stressing factor on our farms, our goats are beaten. Especially some of you who are farming on a telephone farmers and you don't see what exactly is happening on your farms. Usually your goats come back limping. Others have had miscarriages because of the heating. Heating goats, especially in their late, late stage of pregnancy, in their last trimester, usually causes miscarriages. I would want to discourage that if your herdsmen are beating goats. Beating goats, beating goats is very dangerous to your goats. They will have miscarriages. Uh, our last point today is uh, underfeeding our goats. What do we mean by underfeeding? Usually some of us feed our goats for a few hours, especially on free range. Remember these goats are going to look for their feeds. On average, on a daily basis, an adult goat should eat between five to seven kilos of feeds. A variety of five kilos to seven kilos of feed. And then our kids of three months to six months, at least should eat between two to three kilos. As a farmer watching me, do your goats eat that much? And how do you know that your goats are full? How do you tell that your goats are full? I, for one, I can tell. How do I tell that my goats are, are fed to the full? When they come back from grazing, and they are standing in the waiting area before we do the stock taking, usually a big number of them choose to sleep down because they are full. And every time you struggle to chase your goats to enter inside their goat area, and they are still picking all the feeds around outside, that is one sure way of telling you, we are not full, we need more food. And those on zero grazing, please have a weighing scale. Give your goats enough food. If it means giving it to them once a day, all you do ratios and you say, I'm going to give uh, in the morning 2.5 and then evening or afternoon, I'm going to give 2.5, those are five kilos already. So make sure you feed your goats well and they feed enough. Their stomach should be out. Every time you have a goat with a, with a pointed behind, 
It is telling you I'm not feeding enough. It has a bony behind. That is a sign of not feeding well. Having said all that, let's put all your experiences on your farms in the comment section. We are going to be there reading and replying. Thank you for watching Boji Farms. And please do not forget to subscribe. I don't know if uh, there is any person who enjoys good farming like me. I really enjoy my trade. I just love everything about good farming. But I wouldn't want to enjoy this alone. Majority of us face several uh, challenges on our farms. This is the reason as to why I'm tackling challenge by challenge. I want us to migrate from the subsistence way of farming goods to the commercial way of farming goods. I would want Woji Farms to enter into a contract to supply goods to Abu Dhabi, to supply goods outside Uganda without any hesitation because I'm very sure we are having quality goods with big numbers in our Uganda. But we cannot achieve this if we continue having miscarriages on our farms.